Good day once again. My name is Graphics. Now we will be looking at another example, another line problem, which is this symbol here. Now if you look at this, like I said earlier, whenever I see any figure, you should not be scared, right? You should look at the total external distance. So from here to here is 70, and you are seeing the symbol like a square. So that means everything around, ev the length is 70 and the breadth is 70, so it's equal. So we do the same thing just like we did before. You take your uh, metal rule, your T-square, you place it, and you draw this this way. You can see that? This is what I just did here. Let's see what I can see. So if you look at it, I've drawn the line, and I'm going to measure 70 in all directions. So, so I'm going to measure 70 here, so from one, from this point here, where they meet, I'll measure 70, this is my 70, from zero here to 70, right, and the vertical line also, I'll measure 70. This is 7 here, and this is my 0 point here, right, and I'm going to do the same thing right now with the help of my C square, with the help of my C square here, after I place it this way, so I'm going to come up here, I'll take it up. And 70 also. Right? So instead of measuring here, I can help with the help of my test square I'll move it to that point. And I'm going to measure 72. So in doing that, so I'll take it to this point here. Or if you can't do that, you just measure 70 again. So from here to here is 70. So I can thicken it. A bit. So from here to here, taking it, then from here to here, I'm taking it through, from here to here, just like what I did in my previous video, I'm taking it, from here to here, I'm also taking it, right? Now I have successfully drawn that, which is this, I've drawn the total external length, Right now, if you look at it, now it's telling us seven equal division. So each of these division is seven equal. So if it is 70, this will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So the division is what 70. I'm going to divide everything through by 10, 10, 10. So I can start from here first. So this is my meter rule. I start from here. Make use of what I started with. Now this is it here. Right? So we say that from one here is ten. Right? So I'll measure ten. 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 Can you see that? So with the help of my T square, I'm going to we have a metric square, I'm going to move this to each of these points. So I'm measuring 10 to in both sides. So here's my T square, place it very well, and I'm going to join this. Oh, and I'll move this to here, faint line, 10. I'll go to the next one too. I'll move it here, 10. I'll go to the next one too. I'll move it here, 10. Go to the next one too. I'll move it here 10. I'll go to the next one too. I'll move it here 10. Then the next one too. And I'm going to move it here 10. So that with the help of what? My T square. Now, the next thing I'll do is do the same thing I I'll do the same thing I did. At the base also I'll measure 10 because I know that. From here to here is 70, so this will be 0 to 1 is 10, 
one two three another ten three is ten four five six and seven so the help of my c square and c square instead of me measuring 10 10 10 again and joining them to make life more easier mm, i'm going to take my c square on my t square and i'm going to place it at this point right so i'll come here i'm going to draw a straight line touching here go to the next one too another straight line touching here I'm initially using my faint line first so I will know exactly where I'm heading to so use my faint line and join this point at every instance so this is the beauty of the t scan and so I've done that now now if you look at my diagram I'm getting close now I realize that the first point and the second point are meeting. So this is the first point and the second point are meeting. So I'm going to draw this to commit like this. I'm drawing this from here. This is meeting this. And I'll do this also. This is meeting this. What happened here is also happening here because they are mirror image of each other. To the first point here too. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. Right? Now if you look at this again, uh, the second point and the second point are meeting here. And this is the second point here and this is the second point here they are meeting here. So I'm going to draw the same thing from here to here. And I'm going to draw from here to here. So the same thing to the third point and the third point I'm meeting here. So I'll come here, I'll do the same thing here. And do the same thing here too. This is the mirror image is what I do here, I'll do the same thing here too. Second point. Second point. Meeting here. Third point. Third point. I'm meeting here, right? So, look at diagram very well. I've done that. Now, I've done third point also, and I'm leaving a space to the next one. So, I've done third point, I'll leave a space to the next one. So, I'll join, start again from this side here. First point, first point. So, I'll do first point, meet first point. So, I'll do that, first point. Meet first point, second point, meet second point, so, so you join this to this two, the same thing, the third line, should meet the third line here. Yeah. After that, then you come here also. You replicate the same thing from here to here, and then uh, from here to here. This one too, from here to here, and. Um, from here to here, from here to here, and from here to here. And we have successfully drawn this. Are we good? So, you can also do the dimension too. Do I show you in our previous video? Thanks for watching. If this video has been helpful to you, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Thank you.